Hello and welcome to Tales and Trails. I'm Millie Menon. Millions of years before man or any of his cousins uh, walked on the Indian subcontinent, this area was teeming with dinosaurs. Today we are at the Raiole Balasinor Dinosaur Park, one of the biggest hatcheries and excavation sites of dinosaurs in the world, to tell you that story. These rolling hills could well be described as India's own Jurassic Park. Over 65 million years ago, in the Cretaceous era, technically just after the Jurassic era, this area was teeming with thousands of dinosaurs who called it home. These dinosaurs included indigenous Indian species like the great Rajasaurus and the Raiholis gujaratensis, named after this very site. So important was this area that this was also the site of a massive dinosaur hatchery. Over 10,000 dinosaur eggs have been found here. Ali and Babi, part of the family of the erstwhile royals who ruled this area of Balasinor, grew up here. After years of working to conserve and preserve the site, she today wears the hat of an amateur paleontologist, passionate about the region's legacy. In 1981, we had two mappers of the Geological Survey of India who were here on a systematic uh, survey of the land and by chance they found uh, fossilized remains of the dinosaurs as well as eggs here. And uh, at that time, uh, they submitted a report to the Geological Survey of India, which uh, again sent a proper team to do the excavation. And uh, that team managed to excavate approximately 400 bones from seven to eight pits which they had dug uh, across uh, the road from here. And uh, those bones were later studied by also um, American paleontologists. And um, uh, in 2003, the Indian American paleontologist team, uh, they announced to the world a new species of dinosaurs uh, only found from Balasinor and some parts of Madhya Pradesh. And this was our very famous Rajasaurus narmadensis, mm. which was a 30 foot stocky carnivore dinosaur which um, uh, had a horn on its head which looked like a crown and that is why they gave it the name Raja which means king of the mighty Narmada. Mm. We also had a team which did an excavation here which was the Indian Statistical Institute, the Geological Survey of India and the Texas Tech University and they managed to excavate uh, fossilized remains of another new species of carnivore dinosaur uh, which they named it after our village of Rayoli. Uh, and the name of the dinosaur is Raiolisaurus gujaratensis, which again was a carnivore dinosaur, uh, slightly smaller than the Rajasaurus. Ali, tell me about this entire area. It's a 72 hectare kind of a plot with many, many sites around. Uh, if you can give us a mental map of what it looks like, it would be great. Uh, well, you see the Balasinor region, the whole of the Balasinor region, there are a lot of areas which has a lot of dinosaur fossil excavation sites. Uh, but uh, uh, they are not that tourist friendly. Uh, what we have done is we made the Rayoli Balasanor site uh, tourist friendly and we, uh, the Gujarat, Gujarat government has managed to barricade uh, around 72 hectares. So within the 72 hectares you get to see the fossilized remains as well as the eggs of the dinosaurs. But apart from the 72 hectares, we have um, 7 to 8 localities in the Balasanor region where there are fossilized remains, uh, that is the bones as well as eggs of dinosaur. So I would say that it's just not this particular spot, but a lot of other places which are unexplored, even in terms of um, uh, paleontological aspect, which has a lot of dinosaur fossils. Uh, the barricaded area is very close to the spot from where the, uh, the remains of the Raiolisaurus were excavated. So this is again uh, another spot from where once they do some excavation, it's going to unearth a lot of fossils. So probably, and one thing if you notice, this is um, at, the, at the bottom of a small hill. So most of the time, the fossils you will find at the bottom of a hill, which means that they have probably rolled down over the years with the mud, the sludge and the water. Like in most cases, geography plays a critical role in Balasanor's dinosaur story. Close to the rift valleys of Kambi and Narmada, which are rich in dinosaur fossils, this area saw hectic activity during the time of the splitting of the East and West Gondwana blocks. In paleontology terms, this was the Cretaceous era. 
the last segment of the Mesozoic era, which saw great movements in continents, tectonic upheavals, and also the extinction of dinosaurs. One trigger for that, according to historians, was the massive volcanic event that took place at the Reunion hotspot on the Indian Ocean 65 million years ago. The immense lava that was produced created what we today call the Deccan Traps along the west coast of India. In fact, much of the fossils we find in this Rayoli Park in Balasinor are those embedded in lava traps. So this is uh, what we call, uh, I mean, what the paleontologists call the infratrapian lamita sediments. Uh, infratrapian means between the lava traps. So you had the lava flowing and then you had uh, sediments. Then again, probably lava sediments. So these are the various traps. And in between the traps is what are the fossilized remains. And of course, over a period of time, uh, one by one, the layer has eroded and that is when the fossils got exposed. So most of the fossils that you see here are on the surface level. They haven't been excavated. What you see uh, on the surface level is probably, I would say 10 to 15% of a particular bone. Uh, the remaining is uh, uh, deep below the rock, means uh, deep inside the earth. So when uh, the paleontologists excavate, uh, it becomes like a big jigsaw puzzle. Like over here, you see all these scattered bones uh, in these uh, 13 barricades, but even outside the barricades, we have a lot of bones which we haven't been able to uh, barricade. Mm. This particular rock has, this is the largest bone, the fossilized bone that you see here. And you see fragments of the bone in this whole rock. Mm. Tiny little bits mm. all, all over here. Deep within the Rayoli Park is a site that makes this park even more special. Embedded in these rocks are numerous clusters of dinosaur eggs that have led paleontologists to believe that this is one of the largest dinosaur hatcheries of the world. You will see clear fossils of the eggs and many of them are grouped together. Over 10,000 eggs have been found here and there could be as many across this area. The site of Raioli has been deemed a protected area and many of the fossil sites here have been barricaded. A new museum outside the park gates allows you to be transported to what this area might have been like millions of years ago. For Alia, the most exciting part of the growing international recognition of the site has been the fact that more and more children are thronging here. Yeah, so I do get a lot of uh, students uh, as well as kids who come with their parents here and every second child that I get wants to be a paleontologist. Uh, for me, that is very exciting and that makes me very happy because um, maybe 15, 20 years down the line, these will be the paleontologists who will do some excavation here and um, give us an insight into these fascinating creatures. And for me, it's a very good journey with these small children because um, I also get to learn a lot from them because as I mentioned, uh, they're more knowledgeable than us. And um, the best one, the best child that I had was is a three-year-old who knew about Gonwana land, who knew about Pangaea. Okay. So that really like shook me. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so to, these are the tomorrow's paleontologists. Around a two-hour drive from Ahmedabad, it is endearing to see the crowds at the Balasinor site and museum, even on a weekday morning. But a lot more research and excavations are required to dig deeper into the earth and study this exciting chapter in the Indian subcontinent's fabulous history.